Is that somebody at my front door? No! Anyway, does not matter. Hello? Hello? It's time for stories. <laughs> Shall we just get started? I think we'll just get started. I think there's a kitty cat scratching at the window. No, there is no kitty cat scratching at my door. I'm just hearing noises. I'm hearing voices. Oh, I know what it was I heard. Good night, DJ. Everybody's going to bed. It's time for me. Anyway, let's go. If you find yourself stuck, try to look for clues. Devolver the job. Oh, fuck the nostalgia! God, the tennis. This is why. This is why. Mm. He pulled up to the driveway of the family holiday home and parked the car. It's dark, but it's as idyllic as you remember from all that time ago. You remember being told to look in the glove box before going in. It's good to be back. Ooh, I love these games. Open. Inside is a key and a handwritten note from Dad. You take both. Read. No. The note's from your dad and reads, Hi son, hope you enjoy your break. You'll need to fire up the generator around back to get power and lights on. Also, found something in the attic for you. It's in your room. Enjoy. You pull up to the driveway of the family holiday home and park the car. Dark, but it's ideally as you remember from all that time ago. You remember being told to look in the glove box before going in. It's good to be back. Uh get out of car. You open the car door and step out. The house is grand, sat perfectly amongst the trees. In front of you is the front door and the yard stretches around the side of the house. Oh, but we need to turn the, the generator on. So go round. The audio. Back. Where would you like to go? Uh, go to back of house. The door appears to be locked. You only see the key. Anna, go around to the back. Okay, I'm getting frustrated. 
go to backyard. You take a look around to the yard. The yard has been well maintained. You spent a lot of time here with your family on holiday trips. Good memories. Ah, uh, look. Sorry, I don't know. Look around. You see a generator on the back wall of the house. Examine generator. I'm sorry, I don't... Ah, look. Uh, generator. I was being too fancy. The fuel gauge is healthy and it is manually operated. Uh, turn on generator. You switch the generator on and it works to life. This house is still dark. I missed this. Um, but the generator's on, so okay. Go to front of house. You walk back around to the front of the house. The house is grand, sat perfectly amongst the trees. In front of you is the front door, and the yard stretches around the side of the house. Use key. You insert the key and turn. The door lock clicks open. Open door. I fucking love these games. Open door. You step inside the front door. You enter the house to the hallway. It's dark and you can't see anything. You feel a light switch next to the door, however. Use light switch. Uh, spell correctly. Use light switch. You flick the switch and the, light come, the lights come on. The hallway is now brightly lit. There is access to the kitchen and living room here, as well as a set of stairs going up. Uh, go to living, spell rightly, room. Room. You step inside the living room. A spacious and comfortable living room. We spent a lot of good time in here playing board games with the family, warm and inviting. Uh, around. There is nothing here of interest. Oh, that's a shame. Go to hallway. You go back out to the hallway. The hallway is now brightly lit. There is access to the kitchen living room here as well as the set of stairs going up. Go to kitchen. You walk into the kitchen. The kitchen is tidy and well kept. There is a door to a utility room. But otherwise, it's just a kitchen. Look around. <laughs> Look around. Look around. It's very clean and tidy. Not been used in oil. Okay. Go to hallway. You go back to the hallway. Hall is now brightly lit. And we are going to wait because it's not letting us type to go. Go to go up stairs. You walk upstairs to the landing. The stairwell landing. There is a bathroom and two bedrooms, yours and your sister's. Pictures are on the walls, images of happy times. So I put my room and my sister's room first. Because I know that there's something waiting for me and my room. Because Dad said so, and I know. Uh, go to sister's room. Go to sister's room. You walk into your sister's old room. Your sister. Your sister's room is in perfect condition. Untouched since the last time you'd seen her. Posters of her heroes and some of her own attempts at art are on the walls. A few shelves are crammed full of trophies. Her bed is drowned under a pile of colourful soft toys. A real nostalgia trip. Look around. There is also a large wardrobe in the corner of the room. The door slightly ajar. Open wardrobe. It is empty, apart from the pile of scattered photographs at the bottom. Take... Photographs. They are all identical 
A forest road at night. You put them back. Oh, Libram. That was creepy. You step back onto the landing. The stairwell landing. There's a bathroom, two bedrooms, yours and your sister's. Go to the bathroom. I always see what's in the bathroom. Because I'm nosy. You step inside the bathroom. You are in the bathroom. There's not much to know, but it's all in good order. Look around. The bathroom is clean. A large mirror sits above the sink. Look a uh, mirror. It's your reflection. Looking good. Hey, <laughs> nice. We bathroom. Stereo London. Bathroom, two bedrooms. Go to bedroom. Which bedroom? Ah, shite. Go to my bedroom. You walk into your old room. Your old bedroom. So many good memories in here and it's been preserved so well. On the desk is a gift wrap box. Take gift. I'm sorry, don't I? Ah, take box. I'm sorry. Oh. What's the word? What's it not take? Pick up box. Oh no, open. Fuck's sake, monkey. Open box. You unwrap me gift excitedly. I'm such a twat. Dad has found your old computer. A Futuro 128K plus 2. It's been preserved well in the attic and hopefully still works. Press enter to continue. Your old bedroom. So many good memories. On your desk is a Futuro 128K plus 2 computer. And a copy of The House Abandoned. It's all to still set up computer. You start to plug in the various cables and leads. The computer is all set up and ready to go. There's a game here too. Load game. I'm sorry. Play game. You put the cassette in the computer and press play. Fuck me. Okay. Oh, you bitch. Why are you upside down? I saw that. You pull up to the driver of the family holiday home and park a car. It's dark, but it's clearly neglected. You remember being told to check the glove box before going in. You can't stand to be near this place. What the fuck is going on? Ah, uh, open... Glove box. Uh, I can't spell. Fuck. Open glove box. Inside is a key and a handwritten note from Dad. You take both. Read note. You don't recognise the handwriting. It says get out, get out, get out. Oh. Get out the car. Get out the car. Get out the car. Get. Ah. You pull up to the driver of the family hills home and park the car, it's dark but it's clearly neglected. You remember being told to check the glove box before going in. You can't stand to be near this place. Get out of the car. You force the warped car door open and fall out. The house looks abandoned. There is a yard to the side. Wood creaks in the wind and all happy memories are gone from this place. There is no love here. Go around to the back. Ah, uh, go around back. Go around. Go to backyard. I can't remember how I did this. You step through the debris to the backyard. 
The grasses overgrown and weeds crawl up to the side of the house. It's not a nice place to be. You clutch the note, needing to look around. Look around. There is an old generator next to you. Look at generator. Fuck that, I can't spell. The old generator can supply, can supply parts house. Okay, turn on generator. Jeez, fuck me. There isn't much fuel, but the generator starts up. Go to front. You go back to the front of the house. Use key. Ah, uh, the house looks abandoned. Yeah, sorry. You unlock the door. The click of the lock hurts to hear. Go inside. You reluctantly step in. Fuck off. Pitch black, but your senses are punished more by the smell, stale air and damp. This could not be less inviting. The note burns in your hands. You feel compelled to read it over and over. Read not. Two. Newt. It's too dark to read, but it feels weird to the touch. Oh, tunnel light. Afraid of what you might see, you flick the light switch. The lights flicker on and off. The walls are falling apart after years of neglect or worse. There are stains and trails all over the carpet and the stenches. <laughs> Fuck! Upstairs, the sound of an alarm clock playing that someone else is in this house. That can't be... Make it stop, make it stop, make it stop, make it stop. Somehow the alarm stops, you can feel the panic say, uh, yeah. You're still in a hallway, the noises stop, but you feel a presence. Someone is in the house. They should not be here. There is a kitchen and a living room adjacent, the stairs leading up. The note feels disgusting in your hands. Fuck me. Read note. I can't read the note, it's bleeding. Oh, read note. I can't read the note, it's bleeding. Oh, stop bleeding. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't understand. Look around. <laughs> there are stairs and doors to the kitchen and living room. Go to living room. Oh, why is that going to be an ironic name? Get into the living room. The living room, although hardly an appropriate term. As I just said, the furniture is threadbare and worn. The note is fixed in your mind. Dread fills the pit of your stomach. This is not a nice place. Read not, please. Is it better in here? The note, always changing, now reads. Get through this. I don't care if you want to or not. Fuck. The living room, although hardly an appropriate term. Furniture is threadbare and worn. The note is fixed in your mind. Dread fills the pit of your stomach. This is not a nice place. Ah, uh, look around. Run down and empty, abandoned and for good reason. What's the reason? I'm sorry, I don't understand this way. Uh, go to kitchen. Ah, oh, you need to go hallway first. Go to hallway. You return to the hallway. And then you need to do the kitchen. I remember how these work. Ah, still no, someone's in the house, they should not be here. Uh, go to the kitchen. I know who's here, it's me. You go into the kitchen. The kitchen stinks, it feels completely unfamiliar. The tabletops are rusted metal and there is a carcass on the table. There is writing on the wall and the utility room door has a red X painted on it. The paper now feels like fabric, it's covered in blood. You can just make out the words. There is nothing for you here. Ooh. The atmosphere has definitely kicked up a notch and above my own. Mm, friend. There seems to be writing on the wall in what looks like blood. Read writing. Fuck! Why 
Why am I playing this late at fucking night on my own? Huh? I'm so stupid. Oh, I see writing on the wall. In blood, the number 1986 is speared across the wall. Yay! Oh, their eyes are scratched out. That's, that's, yeah. <laughs> oh. It seems to be writing on the wall in what looks like blood. Yeah. Go open utility door. The door is locked. I can't get in there. No, not yet. Huh. Not yet. What do you mean, not yet? Uh. Look at door. There is a red X at the door. You assume it's paint. Yeah, must be paint. Feels like they're not. Yeah, no, it's the same. It hasn't changed yet. Okay, I need to go upstairs. Uh, okay, go to the hallway. Oh, press enter. Yeah, sorry. Sorry, game. Tabletops, rusty metal, carcass on the table, right around the wall. The utility door has a red X painted on it. Go to hallway. You step back to the hallway. Your shoes are wet. You're still in the hallway. The noise has stopped, but you feel a presence. Someone is in the house and they should not be here. There is a kitchen and a living room adjacent. And the stairs leading up. The note feels disgusting in your hands. Read. No. I just want to see if it's changed. Can't read the note. It's bleeding. Okay. Go upstairs. Please. You head up the stairs. They creak. Oh, I suddenly don't like my headphones. Same but diff different. <coughs> Fuck! Behind the door, a phone starts there and you don't understand. Neither can he. Answer. Phone. You hear him answer the phone. Your voice is spill out of the phone out of the room. Whoever's in it should not be there. You need to hang up the phone. I do. Whoever. You consider the worst. Relief. Same but different. The landing gives access to your sister, sister, sister's room, your room, and the bathroom. Pictures are all over the wall, but something is different about them. Uh, I'm not creeped out. Are you creeped out? There's no one here but me. Fuck. Ah. Uh... Yeah. This 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 is uh <laughs> go to bathroom. You enter the bathroom. Bathroom feels disgusting. Every surface is covered in a layer of oily grime. The sink is a haven for all kinds of bugs. Read not. The note is impossible is impossible to read due to the black oil that now covers it. God, this note keeps changing. Uh look around. A broken mirror hangs above the dirty sink. Taps rusted in position. Look and you can't bear to look at yourself. Okay. Go to hallway. You step back onto the landing. Same but different. Landing is access to your sister's. We'll go to my sister's room. Right. We'll leave my room for last. Go to sister's room. Jennifer's room is boarded up. You can't bear this. Ah, oh, I know my sister's name is Jennifer now. Go to my room. The door is bolted shut with the four digit combination lock. I wonder. Enter code. You grab the lock. 
the lock is rusted, not used in years. The key in your hand weighs heavy, and they're not heavier. You grab the lock and you can now input the code. 1986. The lock clicks open. Same but different. Did I read the note here? I'm going to read the note. Let's read the note. The note is now clean again. Simply reading. Get in. Get out. Okay. Go to my bedroom. The door is closed. Open my bedroom. Door. Okay, you open the bedroom door. Oh, the clock says nine, 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 nine. Um, go in my bedroom. Please don't be a shadow when I enter. Please don't be a... You enter your bedroom. Oh, fuck me. Bedroom feels utterly familiar. The walls are damp, but you've been here before. In front of you, a lone person sits in front of a computer screen. The lamp is on. The clock reads 9999. You shouldn't be here. I shouldn't be here. You grip the note tight. Oh, fuck. I can hear the breathing. Uh, I'm sorry, Jennifer. I'm sorry, Mum. I'm sorry, Dad. You haunt every step I take, even in this place. It was out of my hands, but still you punish me. I could be with you now. There is nothing left to do. I'm consumed and confused. This has to end now. Ah. Uh, I don't know what to do now. I know he wants me. I don't want to end it because I think he's going to kill me. I uh, read. No. The note is reacting. Get in the door, get in the door, get in. Do it. Go. There is nothing left to do. I'm consumed and confused. This has to end now. Go in my bedroom. I'm sorry, I don't understand. Go in. Get out. I'm sorry, I don't understand. Turn around. I don't want to turn around. I can't look at you. Please. Turn around. I don't want to turn around. I can't look at you. Say hi. I'm sorry, I don't understand what I was expecting there. Um, end. You are pathetic. It was all your fault. Say it. Say what? Oh, please stop. Stop. It was all my fault. Say it. It was all my fault. Oh, the breathing's getting closer. Oh, he's changed sides! Finally! Ah! Uh. Ah, oh, that was quick! <laughs> I survived! Yay! <laughs> that was creepy! I have got chills down my spine and the hair standing up on the back of my neck. That was fun. I liked that. Oh! Published by Devolver Digital. Oh, okay. Well, I'm not. I'm not going to end it on that one. I'm not going to end it on that one. Obviously, that was only about two minutes. Um.
Well, I'm gonna have a wee drink of my coffee before I start story number two. Or episode two, sorry. That was fun. I enjoyed that. That was sufficiently creepy. That was indeed sufficiently creepy-esque. Yeah. I just put it away. Right, The Lab Conduct, episode two. Look around and go to an open commands are your friends. Stories Untoward, Episode 2 This is Subject 12-19-86-23, New Session Entry. We have Hello. myself, Dr. Alexander Leading, assisted by Dr. Williams, and in the lab itself, our volunteer, Mr. Asian. Mr. We Asian! We have 23 in the chamber, recovered from crash site B. At the moment, it appears inert, showing no signs of activity. Mr. Asian, instructions for each stage will come through to your terminal, and we need you to follow them exactly. Now, some of this may be unfamiliar, so always reference the manual on your terminal for guides on calibration and procedure. Once you've calibrated equipment to match our brief, the green light will flash, allowing you to trigger the experiment. One last thing. Sweet. Ensure that any equipment non-essential to the current experiment is switched off. You cannot proceed until your calibration matches ours. Fair when enough. Ready, let's bring this back. Experiment 1, Internal Analysis. Subject, J1986, there's a number again, is enclosed in solid outer layers. X-ray the artifact to determine its internal structure. All right. X-ray. We want X-ray. Yeah. Will you stop moving? Uh, X-ray. Required apparatus. Camera. Monitor set to X-ray. Charge CC86 X-ray device. Okay. Press the keys bracket then talk between two pages. Press tab to roll over to the test chamber at the test. Ah, see, there we go. So let's see, manual was, uh, oh shit, wrong one. Monitor set to x-ray charge CC86. Okay. Hello. Which one to use the x-ray then? <laughs> Which one to use the X-ray? You're a drill, so uh, X-ray is gonna be you. No. CC eighty six. There it's there. No. Turn you on. Right. <laughs> um, how did this camera? 
XR. Turn the on. Turn the camera on. Ah, I need to turn you on. That's... There we go. C. X-ray. I got there. Good work. The X-ray is coming through now. There's no visible damage to the surrounding organic material. Okay. No signs of activity either. All output is flatlined. That's not good. Okay, let's begin. Fair enough. Experiment complete. Press enter to receive the experiment task. Uh, surface reaction attempt. Demonstrate the effects of laser light on the object. Try using a low powered red laser to begin with. Um, I need to turn you off and turn you, you, are you off? And you're the laser. Laser. But we want red light, right? No. Do you know what? I'm just gonna double check. Cause I don't wanna fuck up. So we have a see set the monitor to RGB and we want red light 650. Right, so we do want that. We want you, and we want you set to... Yeah, and we're setting you to 650. That's a heart. No reaction from first stage. Let's try a high frequency. What frequency would you like? Green. Okay. Manual. Laser. Green is 510. Okay. Here we go. 510. And zap. Okay, we have a reaction of some sort here. A weak signal. No. Let's keep going. Increase again. Any worries? Wrong enter. Okay. Uh, blue. Let's get blue. Uh, is this one? Blue is 455. 455. This is completely different to the last one. Just, the last one was creepy, but this is sort of. What Where? the fuck? Would you look at that? Seems we have a pulse. Rhythm is stable. Yeah. No activity registering in the core. It's possibly damaged. Let's push it's, further. It's not exactly attached to anything. So I would say damage is likely. Resonant frequency. Test the acoustic resonance properties of the object. Begin with generating a 250 hertz sine wave with amplifier gains it to 1. This sounds way smarter than I'm ever capable of. Acoustic resonance. Uh, required apparatus, signal generator and amplifier. Right. So I need to turn you off. Turn you off. Turn you off. Oh, that's much nicer on my ears. Turn you on. Where was it two f shit? Was it two five five? No, experiment is two fifty sine wave. Two fifty sine wave. Two fifty sine wave. Two fifty sine wave. Right, so Oh, you're going really slow. What can you... There we go. I'm not scared. Who's scared? Who said you were scared? 
shit. Okay. Two fifty same Eve. Oh fuck. Amplifier display. Yeah, okay. What do you want? Experiment. Gain it one. Right, okay. See, gotta pay attention. That's one, right? Wait a minute. How the hell am I going to get that to one? Can I zoom in? What am I doing wrong? <laughs> I'm doing something wrong. That's what I was doing wrong. I turned the written off. That was my uh, fault. Experiment now. I did a bad thing. Test the acoustic resonance properties of the object. 505. 505. Let's go. Let's go. Ah, ah, ah. Come on. There we go. Five hundred and five. Oh, it's it's um. I don't think it likes that. Seeing some fluctuations in activity. I don't think it likes that. Good sort of. What do you mean in Greece? What about a volunteer? A volunteer. Ah. Okay, we're gonna push further. I'm running out of time. Let's switch around. Am I the volunteer? Test the acoustic resonance properties of the object. Switch to square wave, maintaining current frequency and gain. So just need to switch to square. Okay. I can do that. Square. Hello, Coraz. I don't have any of those. Oh, fuck. Not yet. Not yet. Seeing good activity on this side. Seeing definite spikes. What do you mean good activity? I know this might seem uncomfortable or dangerous. How are you, Coraz? But you need to trust us and keep going. I, I don't trust you. I don't know who the fuck you are. Agitation. Test the acoustic resonance properties of the object. Maintain the gain and the square wave. But bring the waveform frequency up to one kilohertz. You're at work. Ah, that sucks, man. I think I might be a bit loud because I keep seeing me peeking in the red. Sorry. Uh, kilohertz. Here we go. Oh, fuck. I don't like this noise. Yeah, I need to do all those alerts and things and stuff. I have received a whopping. Yeah, oh fuck. <laughs> I've received a whopping. Uh huh. That was a great place to stop, Mocky. A whopping $28 in tips thus far. Oh, uh oh. Uh oh. No! Shite. Full activity registering. We did it. What do you mean with- Yeah, I can fucking hear you! You've made it excellent progress. You're doing great. Now we need you to stay calm and try to relax. But Who are you telling me to stay calm? Next steps. We're going to attempt to alleviate some of this discomfort. I'll alleviate your discomfort in a minute, pal. The percretive chasing is off. Proceed to drill the surface. 
Uh, that noise is annoying though. Uh, for throw press. Yeah, 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 yeah. Throw press. Experiment. Yep, tab. Here we go. Can we turn that off? Thank you. That's much nicer. Uh, <laughs> turn off. I don't like this. I don't like this. Oh, I really don't like. I really don't like. How do you feel? Scared. Don't be scared. We have the situation under control. Oh, it fucking hurt me. Take a few moments, and when you're ready. <laughs> oh, this, this, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Make contact with the artifact, open the test chamber. Are you fucking crazy? Uh, oh, hello. Stay calm. You're doing fine. Don't be afraid. What? Okay. Sorry to have to do this, but we have to know. I have to know what? I know how difficult this must be, but you can do this. I can it's do what? What do you want me to remember? I don't know. What am I here for? A minute ago, I was in a house. Oh, this is hearty. Oh fucking hell! Oh you bastard! Don't try to speak. Stay calm. You're I didn't legitimately roll back in my chair. You can't prove a fucking thing. It's like a conscious black box. Sure. Visions will translate onto the screen to be something that you can understand. Uh huh. Play out. New data connection ready. Yeah. That, I'm sorry, but there's going to be more seizures, I think. I feel like I'm missing a sweet spot. She says. Oh, oh, hello. Ow. You wake up in the cryopod, struggling against gravity, you force yourself up. Impact into the planet's surface, it's torn hole in a ship hull. Poisonous atmosphere spills into your craft. You are in grave danger. You have to get out of here. Work your way through. Get out. Memory action unavailable. Can man not recognise? Look around. The craft is broken beyond repair. There is wreckage all around. An airlock door is locked tight and a computer terminal adjacent blinks. Back to dice. They're giving away five $1,000 cash prizes every hour, so a million vultures are here tonight. Ah! I wish I was one of them lucky vultures, but you know. And a million. That's an interesting number, Coraz. Very interesting number. Open airlock. Airlock door is clamped shut. It is controlled remotely. Uh, found remote. Memory action unavailable. Shit. Uh, use computer. You tap at the screen and the airlock door splutters to life, slowly opening with a horrendous noise. The ship powers down to silence, having spent the last of the reserves. 
get out. Get out. Get out. Oh, leave. Wait. Open. Oh, oh, I got them. Go out. Leave. Get luck. Ah, uh, okay. L leave ship. Look around. Memory action unveiled. Commander recognized. Ah, uh, go. Go out. Get up. <laughs> Look around, please. The craft is broken beyond repair. There is wreckage all around. The airlock door is locked tight. And uh, I couldn't eat it. There's no longer any person. Open door. This organ was taken from what we think was the leader. What do you mean organ was taken from the leader? Not like the others. There's more detail here. Less hazy. Lean in. Lean in manual ban. Yeah, okay, no worries, pal. Jesus fucking savings! I'm sorry, I know I'm loud. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, you squeeze through the damaged deadlock and fall to your knees on the ground next to your vehicle. Every breath brings pain to your chest. You look around to see you're surrounded by mangled metal. Bright lights pour through every grab in the surrounding Incredible. wreckage. It's describing the moment we found the ship. Mr. Asian, please continue. Stand up. Right, okay. You squeeze through the damaged deadlock and fall to your knees on the ground next to your vehicle. Every breath brings pain to your chest, you look around, you're surrounded. Uh, get up. Uh, look around, in case. Crash site. The smoke bellows from the down ship, exterior lights flicking on and off, records around you. Looking upwards, you see unfamiliar star patterns. Move forward. But spelled correctly. Memory action unavailable. Ah, uh, breathe. Stand. Sit. Sit. Talk. Go. Leave. Crash site. Leave. Oh god. Get up. Look around. Crash site. Yeah, okay. Crash site, small bills from the down ship. Exterior lights flicking on and off. Wreckage around you. Looking upwards. Uh. Shit. No, I want to stand. I want to get up. I don't know what I want to do. Um, help. Cry. Scream. Cry. <laughs> Cry. I don't know. Uh, walk. Move. Look at the ship. There is no going home in this. The symbols are right on the ship are barely visible anymore. Read symbols. The right shows partially shows the name on the ship. Omnistakalpa. These words will haunt you. These words will haunt you. Omni Staakalpa. Hmm. 
Okay, what do we do now? Stand? No, that stops how you spell stand. Shit, I was getting somewhere. Uh, the writing, these words will haunt you. Uh, read words. The writing shows partially the name, these words will haunt you. Okay. Oh, look. Crash site, smoke bills. Okay, I'm starting to get a bit stuck here. A teeny tiny little bit stuck. Go to ship. Go away. Open ship. Leave. Right, okay. I'm a little stucky wucky. Stars. You don't recognise any of the star patterns above you. And the words will haunt me. Hmm. Look at the lights. The lights are blinding. You can make out silhouettes, but you need to move some of the surrounding wreckage for a better view. Move wreckage. With every ounce of your remaining strength, you move away enough of the wreckage for you to carefully crawl through. The lights that surround you now attack your senses. Look around. A circle of artificial lights surround you, set up to illuminate the crash site in the darkness. Behind them, an army of people, all staring. One figure, ste one figure steps out, a silhouette, and walks towards you. Look at Give me a hard part to spell, eh? Silhouette. The silhouette is bipedal and bulky. Some sort of mask covers its face. It beckons you to approach. Approach! Uh, go to silhouette. Oh. Your heart rate is elevated, but you're doing well. There you go. For what it's worth, very few of our test subjects ever make it this far. <laughs> now you tell you should me. Be proud of yourself. Yeah, cheers, thanks. Well, now I want it. Yikes, forever. The room is silent only for the quiet hum of equipment and occasional machine beep. Your touch isn't yours. We are all as one. We move together in unison. We are in a bed in a small, artificially lit room with a single door. There is some sort of writing pinned to the wall. This Adjacent is a display monitor with wires that drape across the room and into our chest. They have tortured us. When did this happen? Who tortured us? Get up. Remove wires. 
Uh oh. What just happened? What's we yank at the wires protruding from our chest. Together, we all scream in pain. Find out what's going on. This action sets off an alarm, echoing loudly down the adjacent corridor. Get up. Look around. We are in a bed. We want to get out of bed. Get out of bed. Ah, uh, okay. Read writing. Symbols seem to indicate where on our body they had to cut. We've been butchered and maimed over and over. Get out of bed! The screen was blank other than a red symbol flashing in the centre, registering the wires being disconnected. Fuck. Open door. But you're in a bed. Oh. Hello. It's not a memory, it's happening right now. Mr. Asian, I need you to stop what you're doing, please. Fuck no! What? Jesus! The fuck is going on? Through the door we find ourselves in an empty room with a device on the table that looks familiar. They don't know how it works but this host does. The door closes behind us with a lock clanging shut. We are alone slash together. Mr. Asian, it is using you to control the other entities remotely. Please do not continue. You must cooperate with us. Through the door we find ourselves in an empty room with a device on the table. Take device. Okay. It looks really. Uh, use device. Oh, hello. Arrow keys up and down, select roll. Arrow keys left, right, change left. Sending something across the network. It's broadcasting. Mr. Yes, it is. The greater good. Spelling now could be catastrophic. We don't know what this might do to you in the long run. Uh huh. Supposed to read that. <laughs> I'm supposed to read this. Tower. 
Oh, fuck, it did it. I did it, I did it, I did, I did something. They're all free. They're converging. It's over. Hi. Please don't hurt me. I'm I'm not I'm I'm friend. I'm a friend. I'm a friend, I promise. Oh shit. Please don't do this. We we mean you. We mean them, no harm, please. Don't you just blew up one of their hearts! Wait. What is going on? One day this will haunt me? Oh, oh Jesus. Okay, the station process, episode three. Let's go. Might as well. I am in love with this game. Station 3, do you read me? <sighs> Give me a sign, man. This storm is getting pretty wild. Hello. Come on, 3, log in. Quit fucking around. I'm not fucking around. Right? Oh, you silly bin. I've got the inner six on the way around. There he is. Finally, what took you? I'm dyslexic as fuck. Is the Sorry. microphone still broken in station three? Yeah, I think so. I'll take that as a yes. Yeah, I'll yes, see that as a yes. Can't reply. You should be able to hear you though. You can see activity registering, so your voice is definitely going through. Oh, okay. Sweet. We can chat later, three. Yeah. yeah. This is pretty serious. I've had a distress call from Central. All There's right. a situation and we have to fire up signal monitoring and relay systems right away. Oh, that's kind of serious. I don't know. I'm assuming it's got something to do with this storm. Whatever it is, it's big to want to involve us. Shit. Okay, what do we do then? That's what I was thinking. Well, my fucking cabin power isn't holding up in this weather, so I can't process the signals myself. Two, you need to feed the frequency information through to the backup terminal in station three. Okay. And three, you just need to tune, decode, and process. Tune, decode, and process. the handbook on the microfilm. It'll walk you through it. Okay. I've never done any of this stuff, so I'm not going to be much help, I'm afraid. Yeah, it's simple, I figured. honestly. 
You could do this in your sleep. I'm sure you okay. could. Okay, first one is due to appear in a minute or so. Have a quick read of that microfilm handbook. It should be on your left. I'm going to get suited up and restart the generator. Don't nice. fuck it up. I'll try my best, Lee, for help. Uh. Okay. Okay. Okay, three, we're up. Do whatever it is you're supposed to do. Ah, I'm the fucking clue. Uh, I need the alteration. What? Okay, let's. Am I supposed to be able to read this? Cover forward, ego signal. What? Seriously, am I supposed to be able to read this? Oh. You are a silly cow. Please ignore the stupidity. You're not gonna... F Looks slow then. Oh, come on, nitpicky motherfucker. <laughs> FM, FM, zero, fourteen, fourteen, nine, three. What was that? Thirteen, zero. Fourteen, fourteen, nine, three. Oh, my volume is so up. Thirteen, zero, fourteen, fourteen, nine, three. Thirteen, abacus. Zero, fourteen, fourteen, nine. Okay, I figured that. Oh, no, 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 no. That, that is just right, okay. Oh shit, oh fuck. Abacus. I went right past it, didn't I? Abacus, there it is. On receipt, am I supposed to be able to read that? My fucking eyesight is shite. On receipt of this callback called conversant. Conversion operators must input the following command lines. Are you fucking shitting me? Seriously. Yeah, you shush in Nepal. Sister, fucking eyes! How the hell am I supposed to read this? Is there no zoom? Can I no zoom in? Oh shit! Tell me there's a zoom. Found the fucking zoom. Sys dot x minus d minus e. Sys dot exe minus d minus e. Sys dot exe. Why are you typing shit? Can I type through over there? Minus minus d minus e. Allocate. Oh, this is going to be a nightmare. Alloc allocate two or two minus two. Allocate. I'm probably missing keys, or you know how to fucking play this. Minus eight. 
Output log is false. Right, okay. Output log is false. Execute. Get in there. Okay, my light here just turned green and the signal stopped. So I think you did it right. Oh yeah, it is it right? Next one coming up in 30 seconds, apparently. Don't leave them hanging too long. I don't know what they're for. Look. But I know we have to make them top priority. Or I'll I'm doing you. my best, man. Of course, don't worry. We'll keep on top of it. Okay, there it is. Creepy sounding things, aren't they? Right, okay. Okay, I, I've got it now. I've got it. See, we're on, we're on USB and we won 3500. Wait a minute. Oh, you motherfuckers! I'm so stupid. That was easier. Oh, hello, Ashra. Discord doesn't show when you're live on YouTube, by the way. I might need to change the setting or like you. Yeah, I think I've not, I've not done that right yet. I did do a fuck you, Uppy. Also, hi. Twenty six fourteen zero one two. Yeah, Chevron. Okay, you can shush. You can shush. You can shush. shush. Chevron. Right. No bollocks. Bollocks. Where's Chevron? Chevron is fucking hell. Way the back. Jennifer sacrifice drive Chevron. Shit. Ref dot in it minus W minus Z. Ref dot in it brav. Ref dot in it. Minus W minus I think. Right. Yeah. Proc begin. Proc dot begin, I think. Proc begin. Was that all of us? Ah, get back there, you silly. Ball bag. Prop again. Oh my god! My voice went funny there, sorry. I've already screamed at this game a couple of times. Get it. It. How are we all this evening? Ah, uh, you're gonna be one of these ones? Yeah. X, Y, Z. Test. Oh, shit. What the? How did the bollocks shoot up? Now, see, my Discord used to tell people when I was streaming, and I believe my microphone might be peaking a wee bit. Give me a second. Gonna lose volume. Because I think I'm peaking just a wee touch. Typing takes fucking long with on-screen keyboard, by the way. Yeah. He's only to tell me if I'm too loud or whatnot because, uh, well, I don't fucking know. Um, I know that my Discord tells when I'm streaming on Twitch, so I'm guessing there's just a setting that I need to fix in there. Right, why did I fuck up on this? Uh, it's not your fight. You always say that when I say I'm too loud, though. Ref dot in it minus W minus Z, right? That is what that says. Ref dot in it. Ref dot in it, brav. Ref dot in it, brav. Oh 
Wait a minute. Where x equals second, y equals fifth, and z equals sixth number from broadcast window. I must have got lucky with the last one. Because I'm always fine. <laughs> Jammy twat means lucky. You're calling me lucky? Oh, I'm, okay, I can definitely see I'm peeking in the red, man. That can't be too good. Uh, what the fuck? When x equals second, y equals fifth. Ow. Riff in it. Maybe I put a space where there shouldn't have been a space. No, maybe I didn't put a space where there should have been. Right. You're good, you're not peeking. Sometimes the updates you do just could be the change of times. Yeah. Ah, fuck a duck. Okay. Maybe that was it. What? Chevron. Chevron. Are you going to be really picky with the bloody capital letter? Is that what it is? Cock. I had to change but uh, the mic, they always go, they always go back to default for me. Yeah, I've realised what my mistake is this time. I know I'm just a twat. Just like you're just a cunt. There we go. <laughs> I'm a twat, you're a cunt. There we go. Um... Rock begin. Have I put a dot? I've I put a dot. See, that'd be shite at the time. You're gonna want numbers, right? Okay. So we want twenty six fourteen zero. One, two. Twenty. Twenty six, fourteen, zero, one, two. So twenty one, two. Twenty six, fourteen, zero, one, two. Right, twenty one, two. Twenty-one, two. Fourteen, zero, one, two. Twenty-one, two. Twenty. 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 Please be right. Zero, one, two. What? Twenty. Oh, I know six, what the mistake is. Four, zero, one, ah, two, goodness six, me, this is so different to the first two episodes. Twenty six. Oh, fuck. Oh, six. Oh, six is not the first one, two. Oh, I'd be useless in an emergency. Twenty six. Fourteen zero one two. Twenty six fourteen zero one two. Twenty zero six four one two. Twenty six fourteen zero one two. So six one two, right? Twenty six fourteen zero one two. Six one two. X equals second, six, 14, 0, y equals one, fifth, two, Z equals sixth number from the broadcast code. 20, 6, 14, 0, 1, 2. What am I missing? 20, 6, 14, 0, 1, 2. Twenty six, 
14, 0, 1, 2. I'm going to go zero zero one. I'm going to test the theory. I'm going to test the theory. Zero zero one. Shit. When I wrote the code down, it was two zero six. Give me, I need a pen and paper. I'm gonna go fill fucking second. Give me my pen and my paper. Because when I wrote the code down, it was two zero. Two zero six. But I'll do it to or twenty six fourteen twenty six fourteen zero one two. Right, so that would be the second two three fifth and sixth. Six, or that 14, one. Zero, one two. Right, so Let's see if it's this one. Fourteen. No. Okay. Two. Twenty six. Four. Zero. Zero. One. Two. Yeah. Okay. My keyboard's still fucked. Twenty six. Fourteen. Zero. One. Two. Twenty six. Let's see if it's this. Two. Oh mother pissing fucking can flaps. Fourteen zero one two. I'm screwed then. Yeah, I don't think it was that space. Oh, it could be that space, but let's just Oh, f this is so different to the first two episodes. Fourteen zero zero zero, one, two, or six zero I know. Twenty six fourteen zero one two. So that be the second number. Twenty six fourteen zero one two. Oh, is it? Is it? Is it? Is it this? Twenty six fourteen zero one. Fucking thank you. Thanks, Three. Just pushing this update to the transmitter now. Getting the hang of it, huh? No, that was quite up. difficult, actually. Um, one. What does GCS mean? GCS? What do you mean? Yeah, now this next one has come through with an additional oh. note. GCS3 <laughs> equals E1, V1, M1. I've not seen it before. Check the microfilm. Might be it's actually the second time I've streamed today. Listen, let me know when you're done with that one. I haven't heard back from the transport team and I'm starting to worry. Sure thing. I streamed okay, a game called Midnight Whoa. Scenes earlier. Okay, well, that's what different. active scenario? Flashing red screen. Yeah, quite uh, the warning sign. Shit. Something's going on. The last two must have just been testing the system. Tune it as normal and I'll see what I can find out once I get these goddamn no lights. No worries, on. pal. But yeah, it's the second time I shouldn't stay. What? Oh, don't tell me I've got one more squad! Oh, here we go. Alright, give me a sec.
One, two, three, four. Oh, those are dashes. This is gonna be it. This is gonna do me in. This could be the end of the stream. And I'm talking, so I'm waiting for the end of the signal. I got the first two letters. Be here all night. So, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, dot. Right, I think we've got it. One, two, three, four, five. Hang on, there's one more. Right, hang on, I think. Uh, wait a minute. Let's go back to the start. Right. Morse code, Appendix A, and you had seen it. Morse codes. Okay, so if it's numbers, right, it's zero, zero, no, wait, zero, nine, zero, zero, nine, zero, nine, zero, nine, zero, nine, seven, zero, nine, seven, seven, zero, nine, seven, seven, three, zero. I think, I think, I think. Let's see. Right, let's see. Let's see if I'm as good as that. Zero nine seven seven three zero. Fuck yes! Go on, get in there, Kansas. Turn, 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 turn. There we go. Oh, we go. Come back, come back, come back, come back, come back. Right, okay, Kansas. Moving Kansas. Where's Kansas? Kansas is. Number eight. Two, three, four, five. Wait. There's Kansas. Point dot peak package. Point dot package dot X. I have no idea. It's a bit strange of things. Um. So. Right, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Morse code's going to do my tits in. Right, so, the first game, the first episode, shall I say, uh, we pulled up to a house, and it was like a, you know those old text games, uh, the old, old, old computer games where you had to type in, go to door, open door, use, or, you know, use key, turn light, you know, that kind of thing. Well, that was what the first episode was like. And... You were sat in front of a computer and an old TV and you were typing these things and then all of a sudden everything turned creepy and Someone else was in the house as you were typing it and they ended up standing behind you breathing in you and then it just ended Episode 2 we were in a laboratory and 
we were experimenting on this heart thing and then this orb thing appeared and memories were flashing and sh and I'm here and I really don't have much of a fucking clue beyond that other than I'm doing this <laughs> and I badly need to pee <laughs> I'm not doing a film white.package.x uh, I've forgotten already. EX. Point. Point. Uh, point. Point. Dot. P. Kids. Dot. EX. And you are. You are. You are X. Right? Point. Dot. Package. XY. Okay. Point. Dot. P. Kids. Dot. EX. Why? Uh, S A L, right? Is that Sal minus A minus forty? Sal minus A minus forty. No, I've put spaces where there shouldn't be. Right, now, x and y mean a thing, right? Where x equals the largest number from original broadcast and y is the smallest. So that would be 9 and 0. So that would be 9 and 0. Go up. 9. Come on, let's get this right first time. Just bad at reading? Oh gee. Ah, oh, I'm bad at reading. I thought it was a zero. Okay, one, we're done. Nothing has happened really. I can't good. believe I read what that much code. I'm about to head outside to look at this generator. My cabin is completely out. Listen. Right. I just checked the roster and we were supposed to hear from the supply team three days ago. But I've had uh -oh. nothing. No responses either. Shit. The storm? I hope not. Three, can you monitor a range for me? Sure. They use an emergency signal somewhere between eight, eight and a half thousand range. FM. See if you can track it down for me. Okay. That's our supplies for the next six months. If they turn back, what do we do? We can reschedule. I'm more worried that they didn't turn back. Otherwise, we'll be having a drink by now. The boat was called 20F. 20F? God, yeah. Okay. Three. Eight, eight and a half thousand FM somewhere. See if you can pick up a distress signal or something. Sure thing. Uh, no, we won't go down. Okay. Half of the rest of your stream, I'm going to get angry for. Well, oh, yeah, sure, no worries. I'm um, sorry, mind if you. Um, I don't know if you'd want to call when I'm streaming, you know what I mean? So, anyway. Have fun with Phil. Oh. We'll bring you further updates as they happen. What happened? An emergency broadcast received from Madrid confirms the epidemic has travelled across the Atlantic. Madrid. They have been sighted connecting to central population centers and beginning what is being described as a removal. Who are they? Not yet known if you also, by the way, Phil fucking talking about Baldur's Gate making him gay for being a sexual predator is the stupidest fucking thing I've ever heard. Just thought I'd get that off my chest. Three. What? Eight to eight and a half thousand FM. Yeah, yeah, I was talking. Oh, I don't understand that. Does anyone read? Oh, here we go. 20F, do you read me? Oh my god, that fan. It's a distress signal from supply vessel 20F. Please respond. I'm here. 
What are you doing there? What are you? We don't have enough supplies to last whatever this is out. We have some on board, but it's not enough. We try to turn back, but uh, the storm. Or them. Yeah, enough I've got listen for things like Moss Code and that, I don't GPS think. And us straight into the what on earth is he talking about? If you're still a bit after stream. We just got word from Central that New York has fallen. Everyone's gone there now. Holy fuck. I thought us being so remote would give us time, maybe, but uh, I can see it coming. Be ready. All of you. It's 20th hour. What are they talking about? Are you there? Are you hearing this? Lock your door, too. Three, do the same. Okay. What do you mean? Did you hear the report? I just got a call from Station B at the coast. Something is happening. I don't know what, but they said we had to lock up and stay in our cabin. Then it went dead. What are you talking about? Just do it. They're here. Oh, who, who are they? Are they? Shit, one, there's another GCS signal coming in. Do we do we process it still? Yeah. As long as the GCS number is going up, we're helping a lot of people. It was three last time. It's six this time. What does it mean? That's good. That's good. Just oh, yeah, he definitely chose to be gay. Stupid motherfucker. Hotel. Bravo. Echo. Mike. Zulu. Sierra. Hotel. Bravo. Echo. Right, okay, here you go. Mike. Zulu. Sierra. Hotel. Bravo. Echo. Okay, it's in caps. Mike. Zulu. Sierra. Hotel. Bravo. Right, okay. Hang on, hang Echo. on, hang on, hang on. I got you, I got you. I got gotcha, you, I got gotcha. Zulu. Phonetic, okay. Sierra. Fucking course. Yeah, no, Phil chose to be gay. Bravo. He was Echo. the idiot. My. He ignored every female Zulu. romantic option Sierra. in that game. Hotel. So, Bravo. you know, what's it gonna do? Echo. But. Telling people that Mike. they designed a game to be Zulu. a sexual predator and Sierra. consent was forced, Hotel. all this non-consent. The Bravo. vampire tried to bite me. The tadpoles Echo. were in my brain. They made me gay. Fuck off, Phil. Mike. If you ever hear Zulu. this, Phil, you're a cunt. Sierra. Hotel. I might not be a big detractor Bravo. like the rest of them, but I still think Echo. you're a cunt. Right. Uh... Bravo, I know. Zulu. Sierra. Hotel. Bravo. Echo. Yeah, I know what the phonetic alphabet is. My. A B. I know what that is, Zulu. but. Zulu. Sierra. Hotel. Bravo. Echo. Does we really need that? My. Zulu, Sierra, Hotel, Bravo. I know I've said this before and I say it again. Phil is the second man on this planet that went to wrap a wet floor sign around his neck. Yeah, Zulu, pretty much. Sierra, Hotel, oh. Bravo. Echo. I think I've just twigged. Mike, Zulu. Sierra Hotel Bravo Echo I don't know what I'm doing with the My Zulu Sierra Hotel Six nine seventy Right okay Echo So God's sake this is this is piddly as fuck My Zulu Sierra Hotel Bravo Echo I'm not kidding, I can't s I can barely see this. Zulu. Sierra Hotel 
Bravo. Echo. My. Zulu. Sierra. Right. Hotel. My A B I can't. I cannot Echo. read those letters. It's a fifteen. My. Zulu. Zulu is two. Bravo. Echo. Elemental P Q R S. Twenty one. This is ridiculous. Sierra. Hotel. Hotel. Bravo. Echo. Ten. Bravo. Zulu. Sierra. Four. Hotel. Seven. Bravo. Four. Echo. Seven. That was fucking nightmarish. Let's see. My. Yeah. Zulu. Fifteen. Sierra. Two. Twenty-one. Hotel. Ten. Four. Seven. Bravo. Echo. Suck a dick. My. Zulu. Sierra. Hotel. Bravo. Echo. My. Zulu. This is shit. Sierra. Hotel. Bravo. I can't read shit. Echo. Oh, well, that's not gonna help, okay. My. Zulu. Sierra. Hotel. Bravo. Echo. My. Zulu. Sierra. Hotel. Bravo. Echo. How, how the fuck am I supposed to be able to read this, by the way? My. Zulu. Sierra. Hotel. Bravo. Echo. My. Zulu. It did work! Sierra. Oh my god! Hotel. Bravo. It did work. Echo. Right, Centaur. My. Holy shit. Zulu. This is not like the rest of the Sierra. game so far. Uh, the episodes are Hotel. vastly different. Bravo. Echo. Ah. Uh, Fifteen. My. Zulu. Sierra. Hotel. Bravo. There is. There is. Echo. M dot status minus R. My. Zulu. Sierra. Oh, can we turn you off? Yeah. <laughs> and I forgot what it said. <laughs> M dot status minus R. M dot status minus R. M dot status minus R. You're right. I can check individually. That is beautiful. Command dot stir minus Z. Command dot stir minus z. Sweet. And h grid w. I think h grid w. The game I played earlier today, by the way, that was really nice. H dot grid dot W. Ah, uh, yes, get in. Three, there's something. I'm fucking. I smart. don't know what I'm looking at. <laughs> Cabling. One, I can see something above three's cabin. I am not smart. What do you mean you can see something? Down. Launch One, successful. Did that? What the f F 
book. Fuck. What the hell is that? I can't see you from here, one. What's going on? Don't it's know, but me. I really need the bathroom shit, now. It's above me. It's over station three, too. They're here. Shit, no shit. What's here? Jesus, one, what the fuck is out there? It's fine. It's fine. You'll be fine. Shit. Here's another signal. Uh, have you just been offline? Seven equals E1 V5 M1. One, what the hell? It's flashing urgent. That scared the absolute fucking shit out of me. Sacrifice. Oh, that's a beautiful word. One, Let's just turn that off. Sacrifice. Let's go. Guys, are any of you walking around in that stall? That's nope. crazy. You'll get yourself killed. Yep. No one is outside. You're seeing things, four. Yep. Home, Jennifer. Sacrifice. By the way, Jennifer is the name of her sister. We started off at home, where we learned Jennifer rooms all boarded up, and now there's a bird called Sacrifice, and I saw Drive, and there was a crash. I don't know what the hell's going on, but um, oh, box, 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 box. Three, number station three. This is station four. Do not go outside. Yeah, don't plan don't on go it. Go out there. Stay inside. Lock up. Rot. Do not go out dot there. X X. Ah, lovely, 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 lovely. Rot. Dot. X. Oh, I'm in capitals. That's not good. Rot. Dot. X. Uh, ba -ba 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 -da -da. Guys, I'm shutting down station five and getting the fuck out of here. They took six. Station what do you mean they took? Actuate dot Y Y. Ripped it out of the ground. Actuate dot Y Y. Actuate dot Y Y. I'm not saying it because I'm scared. Shut the fuck up, can't prove a thing. Uh, <laughs> I'm not scared. Who says I'm scared? I'm not scared, you're scared. Point dot one dead. Okay. Okay, dog. Point. Point dot one. <sighs> right, okay. Come on. No, get back, get back. Right, X numbers one, two, three from the original broadcast represent a longitude. One, two, and three. Okay. Four, five, and six is the Y. Authorization word from Appendix C. Authorization word from Appendix C. Authorization word from Appendix C. Conversion chart. Okay. Conversion chart. What the hell is this? Are you shitting me? Start. Signal modulation. Was it USB or LSB? Oh, for the love of Christ. It was USB. Alright, so broadcast frequency. Was 8150, right? Eight. Yeah. Right, USB 8150. Process total of numbers. Oh, I've got to do math. You want me to do math? Right, okay. So, 18 plus 9 is 27, right? So, the total is greater than 30? No. So, the password is Alexander. 
Right? Right? You agree with me? Um, just see ya. And the password is Alexander. Execute. Ah, God, the achievement! Correct response! Ha 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 ha! I am so smart. I am so smart. SMRT. Three. James. The last signal hasn't sent. My terminal is going what? crazy demanding a response. No. I think the wind is misaligned the transmitter or something. We need to go out to it. You fucking what? Please, James. I'm sorry, but I can't get out. I'm trapped. You'll still be able to hear me, though. Go. Go. Ah! Bitch! Oh, why am I being dragged? Tracked me. Oh, that is super sensitive. Oh, don't like this. I've got a rumbly in my tumbly. Also, I badly want to invert the mouse. Oh, I took a wrong turn somewhere. Oh, no, yeah. Oh. I can't deal with a control that's not inverted. I don't know what the fuck is going on. I really don't. Oh, God, they're so sensitive. The DPS is so high in my mouse. Give me the fuck out. Oh, what the fuck is going on? Oh, I'm so scared. I'm so scared. What the fuck? Okay, get less scared, more bored. Don't bite me. Don't jump out. Don't jump scare. Be nice. Just just be nice. Oh no. Do Okay, I can't touch anything. Right, okay. I don't know what to do now. The sensitivity on this mouse is ridiculous. Oh, 
Okay. Okay, I got them back on. I as this is this is my worst nightmare. Literally my worst nightmare. Um um Come from Jesus. What, the... what are you doing, James? Please, what do you mean, Mama? Doing I put the power back on. Back. Oh, I feel really iffy. This is this is my top speed, Vanguard. This is literally my top speed. Oh, who's doing the whispering? That's it. Who the fuck's whispering? Oh, creepy motherfuckers. James, everyone is waiting on you. You yeah, need I'm, to wake up. What do you mean wake up? I'm awake. Was the computer from the first episode? Welcome back. <sighs> okay, there's one more episode, and I've got the heebie jeebies. Oh, I've got shivers. <sighs> well, the credits are running, I'm going to take a quick pee break and I'll be right back, but I'll be back better for the film. <laughs> Even wash my hands. Okay, I am back. Hello, Cora. No, keep Blonde just walked up to my table so I went on break. The stupid relief guy's gonna scare her off. No! Oh, I'm sorry. I wasn't mocking you, I'm sorry. I felt bad. Hello, welcome back. Okay, so we did episode one, two, and three. It's half past three in the morning. Oh, I'm in deep shit. Fuck it, let's go. I didn't realise it was half three in the morning. Pretty sure I started the stream... I was going to say an hour ago, but now it's been two.
think that's enough of that for now. Well, I was enjoying that. Bitch, give me that back. You're quite fond of the show, aren't you? I was. Until you stopped it. Okay, come on. Let's get you down to the observation room. What the fuck is going on? Oh great, I'm back in the wheelchair. Well, a bit of fucking wheel for me. This place must be starting to feel like home to you. Don't worry. I'll try and get you out of here eventually. I'm just in here. Yeah, that was very strange of things. Okay, are we through in the next room? Just relax and we'll get started in a moment. Okay. Right, Mr. Asian, now are you ready? Uh, sure. Just hit record on the tape deck in front of you when you're ready. This is subject 12198623, new session entry. We have myself, Dr. Alexander, leading, and in a room we have our patient, Mr. James Asian. As we know, James has recently recovered from a two week coma. What was it a coma? Accident. In our last three sessions, James's attempts to recollect events of the accident seen him merging his memory with his imagination. These Did that explain a few things? Have always ended in panic, and we've had to terminate the session abruptly. Let's try and do this one better, James. So when you're ready, let's bring this back. I know how difficult this must be, but you can do this. Okay. James, it's time to remember. Uh. What? It's like Whoa. a conscious black box. It can show you your memories. Look into it. Uh what is going on? <laughs> Fucking hell. Hey Nux, In this is recent episode. Episode four of you Stories and Told. False memory of a remote weather station. You were isolated from the rest of the world. Locked in such a coma. Ah, coma. Several operations. Ah, that's nice. Nice touch. How's you, you know, Nux? Your family would do number puzzles with you. Anything really to bring you back. Yeah, People tell them to answers, do James. less puzzles do next time. I have another signal here for you, James. It's at 5610FM. You can't miss it. Oh, really? You want me to do this now? After you tell me it's not real? You tell me it's not real, you want me to do this? Really? I just got dragged out here. 12, 19. 86, 23, 04. Type in the numbers, James. Yeah, yeah well, if you just see them again. This is 20F, 12, 19, 86, 23, 04. Type in the numbers, James. Yeah, you're yes. right. This is 20F. 20F. 12. 12. 19. 19. 86. 86 23. 04. 04. Type in the numbers, James. And then you can shut up now. Uh, report. Oh, hello. 20F. Beetle accident. Arrived on scene to discover two cars that had been involved in a near head-on collision. 
Mr. Afrin found lying down outside his vehicle with head injuries. An ambulance was immediately called. His Mr. Asian, it's me. Mr. Asian found lying down outside his vehicle with head injuries. An ambulance was immediately called. His passenger was trapped in the vehicle in critical condition from wounds sustained in the collision. The driver of the blue sedan, Mr. Hennings, was found dead on arrival. It was noted that there was a strong smell of whiskey from the driver and an empty whiskey bottle in a passenger seat. Mr. Asian was questioned on scene. He described an oncoming blue sedan being clearly out of control, which he swerved to avoid. Mr. Asian's passenger was his sister. The driver of the blue sedan was an ex-police officer of 20 years. Shit. Chillin' chillin', finished up with alt stream and saw this. Nice. Honestly, I wasn't expecting anyone to be here. Okay, so... What's been circled? So, 20F, fatal accident, empty whiskey, out of control. I'm going to type that. Twenty eh, F fatal can he spell fatal accident now get back get back you know what the words are you know what the words are empty empty whiskey whiskey out of pro is that right? Nice. Find the signal, James. Listen to the voices. You have to face it, James. Finally. 77,000 FM. Okay. Yeah, I don't mind telling it. That's pretty much all I'd like to do. Not like it at all. I've worked with Officer Hennings for six years, and not once have we even talked about alcohol. Drunk driving. He, he was a father, a husband. He was fine. No what way he caused this. It's him, this Haitian guy. He's got something to hide. A life like a son. Okay. Uh oh. I can't change my controls. That's yeah, that's a bit of a downer. All right, so I'm just going to have to be very careful with how I move. This doesn't make sense to you. You step out into the hospital ward, only it seems abandoned. Your vision is blurred. I streamed um, earlier today. I played a game called Midnight Scenes, a safe place, and I enjoyed it that much that I went and bought the other four four games in that series. What? Oh, I buy. I got. Yeah, I can't change the invert. I hate that I can't change the invert or the sensitivity. That's a bit shit. Uh, yeah, no, I was I was gifted the other four. Episodes. Oh! There's someone else here. Ah, uh, hi. Why do I suddenly feel like I'm playing Phasmophobia? Yes! Thank you! Thank you! Everybody mocks me for inverting my Ys. 
<sighs> but it, seriously, it's the only way to play. I really need to invert my way. <laughs> It feels we I'm really trying not to hate on this too much. You spent most waking moments in here. Yeah, no, I can't stand it either, but this game has been incredibly immersive and enjoyable up to this point, so I'm not gonna hate on it too much for that. The doors are locked, but deep down, you know you must get through somehow. Another door you never opened. You don't know what was in here. So if you see me keep looking up at the ceiling, it's because I can't. I can't do my eyes. Dang it. Invert my Y. My key. You grab the keys from the table, they weigh heavy in your hand. And sprint to run does not work. Oh, this would be amazing in VR. The waiting area is dark, but you feel a presence right behind you. Someone breathes in your neck, standing over you. Fuck off. Get away. The first game ended with someone breathing on my neck. Oh, there was a game called Stranded Deep. I got that the day it released and I couldn't invert and I refunded. So anyway, um, I feel like I was spoiling the end of this game. Whoa! Okay, we have a 22-year-old male just brought in from a vehicle collision. He was awake and mobile at the scene, but collapsed on arrival to the emergency ward. His no! Passengers died in the accident. I'm getting no pulse. Prepare for defib. Amp charge full to ten, and give me 100 joules. This was the equipment I used in joules. episode two. Charge amp full to ten. Oh, it's me doing it myself. Come on. Yeah, duh. This laser. Um, 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 um. Um. Can we get this on the screen, please? You're fucking trying, pal. Oh, I don't like this. I don't like this. That's not right, is it? Come on, 100 joules, charging up full to 10. I did. That's just 100 joules, right? Ah, Come I had 100 jewels. Yeah, Starting I got it. I got the wrong thing on. Sorry, my bad. No I never tried Liza P. Let's try I kind of wanted to, but then Phil ruined it for me. Jewels. Keep the amp charged to 10. 
filled runes every year for everybody. I'm getting to 200. Let's go. Shoo shoo, I'm getting. Clear. Okay, we have a reaction of some sort here, a weak signal. Let's keep going. Increase again. 360, here we go. Right, right, here we go. Come on, 360, hurry. I'm hurrying as fast as I can. Clear. Well, would you look at that? It seems we have a pulse. We do indeed. The rhythm is stable. We need to run an extra. Run an extra straight away. Of course you do. Where are we with that extra? I'm Let's literally looking at it. Uh, I feel that I wanted to try it because I had game pass, but there were too many times before I move it with bug and try to turn around. Yeah. That was exactly the same. That's not it. Where are we with that x ray? Let's get it going now, please. I don't know what to do. It's not that, is it that? No. Where are we with that x ray? Oh, I don't now, remember. Please. Was it that? Who was that? There we go. See, you could have just told me. It looks like an intracerebral hemorrhage. We need to drain this now to relieve pressure. Prepare for trepanation. Switch on the drill, please. Oh, box to you, mate. The drill's on. The drill, please. The drill is on. Oh, I don't, oh no, it was RGB, wasn't it? I'll get the camera on. Can we get this on the screen, please? Yeah, it's on the screen. Turn it off. There we go, there we go. Mr. Asian, you've made excellent progress. <laughs> You're doing You've great. heard my voice many times you now. Stay calm and try to relax while we go through these next steps. Oh, Christ! We're going to attempt to alleviate some of this discomfort. Uh, fuck off! I felt that in my ear. <laughs> You've heard my voice many times, Nox. Just not fully. Whenever, whenever I Vega, <laughs> I Vega. Whenever a Vega plays that, shut the fuck up, you can't. That's me. <laughs> Every time he plays that sound clip, angry Scottish woman, it's me. It's literally me. Shut the fuck up, you can! That's me. Not only is tonight New Year's Eve, but tomorrow you leave on a six month trip abroad with friends. Mum, Dad, and your sister Jennifer have decided to throw a party to celebrate it all. The house is full. Yeah, it's actually, it is actually me. <laughs> I had to wait until my neighbours were out. I had to wait until the house was empty so that I could shout that at the top of my fucking lungs. <laughs> but yeah, shut the fuck up, you cunt. It's actually me. <laughs> no, it's me. Uh, you're in the living room and as usual, you don't recognise us all. Uh, look around. 
The room is full of chatty strangers, mostly friends of mum and dad. There is a door to the hall. Go to hall. I thought it was just a joke because you're an angry Scottish woman, that's funny. Yeah, no, 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 it's really me, it's really me. The hallway is as welcome women as ever, only this time the folks have put a great big banner up across the main wall. Half-finished drinks are abandoned on almost every horizontal surface. Stairs lead up, although the party is firmly downstairs. Go upstairs. As much as you'd love to, you'd promise you'd stay downstairs with the party. Okay, go to living room. You shuffle past people to get back back to their living room. Not only is tonight New Year's Eve, but tomorrow you leave and say, ah, yeah, yeah, okay, we'll read that bit later. Yeah, no, genuinely, genuinely me. If you go wanted everybody to put in a clip of telling Phil to shut the fuck up, and I think not a lot of people did it, but I did it. I did a couple of I I don't know if ah oh. shit have I got them on my soundboard? Because I also have a soundboard. Ah, uh, sounds. You are we going to hear this? Oh shut the fuck up! That was the one, and the other one was. Oh god, shut the fuck up, you cunt! See, yes, yeah, me. <laughs> I have them on my soundboard. <sighs> Beautiful. I had two, but I only gave him one. There we go. Right, uh Go to kitchen. Oh, go to hallway. Push through the crowd and the hallway. Hallways welcome as ever, the folks put up a great banner. Yeah, 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 yeah. Get to the end. Yeah, I've got two. <laughs> Go to. Oh, I can't fucking spell. Kitchen. 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 They say all the best parties are in the kitchen. Kitchen is full of people and loud. There are drinks and food on the table, and the party is in full swing. Dad has cooked a hog roast, which sits proudly on the table, although no one is eating it. There's a hog. Eat hog. Maybe later. <laughs> Talk to that. I'm sorry, I don't understand. Okay, look around. There is a utility room and writing on the wall. Also, Jen is here signalling you. Talk to Jen. She's too far away and the room is too loud. Go to Jen. You push through, apologising over and over to get to Jennifer. You hug. You're going to miss each other. You thank her for the party. She asks if you're enjoying the party. You know what else Phil does to drive a bit nuts? His singing that get me all the fucking time. Yeah. I can't stand the singing. Uh, talk to... No, I said that. Hug, Jen. She repeats her question, asking if you've had a nice time. Answer, yes. You tell her it's great, even though you re don't really know anyone. She tells you to enjoy it anyway. And to loosen up, she asks you to get a drink. Can, just give me a sec. I think I see Morse code at the top of that page. I want to write it down. So there's two, three... I'm looking at everything in this game now. Two, three, three, four, five. Oh, that was easy to remember. Two, three, three, four, five. Right, okay. Um, shall I should get her a drink? Get it. Jen, a drink. You pour Jen a drink and one for yourself too. There's never an awkward silence with Jennifer. She always has a question. She asks if you have everything. Sorry for the big trip. Answer. Yes. You tell her yes, that you've packed everything with plenty of room to spare. Another hug. Your family have really gone out of their way to make this trip happen for you. 
It may be what you need to get some perspective and maybe not fuck up so much. She's going to miss you. You're going to miss her. She walks away. Jen has disappeared into the crowd. You're left standing, nodding and smiling at approving faces. There is so much to do for this move. Can't mess it up. But first, a drink. You pour and down another drink. Anything to move the night along. Drink. You pour and down another drink. Anything to move the night along. Drink. You pour and down another drink. Another drink. <laughs> Look around. The room is full. There is a utility room and it's, I'm a Scottish person, of course I'm going to fucking drink. Go to utility room. Although, I don't actually drink. You open the door and peer in. You're never allowed in here normally. This is where Dad keeps his fine wines and whiskies sealing the floor fracks. A collector. Although he does actually drink them too. There is a bottle with a ribbon round it and a card. Read card. You pick up the whiskey and the card. It's your dad's handwriting. Son, we're so proud of you and everything you've achieved. You've earned this. It's a bottle of 25 year old double malt. You shouldn't really, but you have to try it. Drink. Uh -oh. See, I was so keen to drink there. With your whiskey in hand, you take in the room around you. There must be hundreds, no, wait, thousands of pounds worth of drink in here. You really must thank your dad for the whiskey. I'm sorry, I don't understand. Ah, fair enough. Talk to dad. I'm sorry, I don't understand. Okay, look around. There are racks of fine wines at the door to the kitchen. Go to the kitchen. No, let's put it this way. I have dark ideas to do how many fucking things. We all have dark ideas of what to do with Phil when he fucking sings. You stumble out of the utility room and back into the kitchen. That is one strong whiskey. You take another swig and give the thumbs up to Dad across the room. He nods and winks. Go. Oh. Go to Dad. Oh, well, talk to Dad. He tells you he is proud of you. And to go easy tonight, it's an early flight tomorrow. Thank Dad. He tells you he's proud of you and to go easy. Right, okay. Look around. Busy and noisy, we'll need to find somewhere quieter. Go to hallway. You go back out to the hallway. A few bumps and laughs on the way through and you make it to the hall. You stop dead in your tracks. It's Jen covered in blood. She's staring straight at you. No one else notices. Blood is dripping down her face. It's mixing with tears. I'm sorry, I don't oh oh. Okay. I'm sorry, I don't understand. Help her. What the fuck? Sorry, I couldn't understand. We tried our best, Mrs. Asian, but her injuries were too severe. No, I don't understand. I was just talking to her. I'm afraid Jennifer passed away before we could get to her in surgery. We did uh, the best we could. I am so sorry. Where is she? Let me see. I her. know where this is going. Please, Mrs. Asian, take a seat. I don't I know where this is going. Seat. Let me talk to her now. I'll arrange for you to see her. In no, the meantime, man. James is in recovery. He's stable for now. I don't want to see him. It's not my fault.
It was all my fault, wasn't it? You're standing in a hallway, something is stopped in your tracks while searching your mind, your sister interrupts. She waves her hand in front of you and asks if you can drive her home. You still feel out of sorts, those words echo. Say no. Ignore. Yeah, yeah. We can talk in the car. Go get your keys. Fuck. Get keys. I don't know what you're trying to use. Go outside. There's no point till you find those car keys. Shit. Go to... Living room. You're sure your keys are in the living room? The living room is a much more relaxed atmosphere compared to the kitchen. Various guests are sat in the chairs having civilised conversations. There's a coffee table in the middle of the room. Your mum is pouring a drink at the drinks cabinet. Look around. A coffee table, a drinks cabinet. One of the chairs is overflowed with jackets and coats. You need to look for them. They must be either in the kitchen or the living room. Well, look at Bobby table. Drinks on coasters like proper civilized people. You can't see your keys. Look in cabinet. Your mum's collection of wines and spirits. Definitely no keys in here. Look in coats. You search through all the jackets and coats until you find yours. Haha! Car keys in the pocket. You grab both. Go outside. Keys in hand, you head back into the hall. Jen thanks you for helping her out. She has work in the morning and no one else is in any fit state to drive. You can handle it though. You know the road like the back of your hand, don't you? Go inside. You open the front door and walk out into the freezing night. The cold air hits you. You're glad you have your jacket with you. There is a dusting of snow around you as you step down from the porch. The yard extends around to the back of the house and the car sits at the front of the house. You fumble with the car handle confused until Jen tells you to maybe use the key in your hand. Use key. Fumbling with the car keys you eventually get the door open and climb inside. Car is freezing. As you fumble around with your seatbelt, your sister opens up the car glove box and hands you a note and a key that was inside. She tells you that it's for when you return and it's the key to the fucking house. Read note. The note is from your dad and reads, Hi son, hope you enjoy your break. You'll need to fire up the generator around back to get power and lights on. Also found something in the attic for you. It's in your room. Enjoy. The car is freezing. Both you and Jen have your seatbelts on and are ready to go. It's time to go. You try to turn the ignition with sheer willpower despite holding the keys in your hand. It takes a number of attempts but you eventually slot the key into the ignition. They are really drawing this out. You turn the key in the ignition and the car roars to life.
drive. Oh, they really are dragging it out. The car squeals but stays stationary. Jen suggests leap, uh, releasing the brake, giving you a wide eyes there. Release brake. You very hesitantly release the handbrake. You put the car in gear and pull out the drive like a first time driver. You, I am driving very drunk on the road towards the town where your sister stays. Jen started dozing off as soon as the journey got going. It shouldn't take long. You come to a junction. Is it left or right? You can't remember. I'm sorry, I don't understand. I'm sorry, I don't understand. Ask Jen. She grunts and throw her, throws her arm to the left. It's left. Of course it's left. Drive. Left. Turn left. Turn left. Turn left. You turn the car left at the junction and accelerate off. Confident that you're on the right road now, you loosen up and put your foot down on the accelerator. You feel powerful as the engine roars at your command. Jen sits up in a chair and clutches your arm. She asks you to slow down. Down. That's not what really happened, though, is it? You're all over the place, James. Pull over. Jen is hitting your arm and yelling at you, crazy sister. Strange. A set of headlights coming directly at you, but really slow, like slow motion. Slow down. You try to react, but your body isn't responding. There's nothing you can do to stop this. There's no way you can control it. James, the lights merge with your car, the outside joins the inside, and the whole world around you begins to scream. James! It was at this very moment, wasn't it, James? The moment you lost it all. Your sister. Your parents. Yourself. And then you made it worse. Go on. Show us what you did. You wake up in the car. Your world is upside down. Your seatbelt struggles against gravity, trying to hold you in your seat. An impact into another car has torn a hole in the chassis. Poisonous fumes spill into your car from the engines. You are in grave danger. You have to get out of here. You can't move. Your seatbelt's still in place. Remove seatbelt. You release yourself from the seat. Gravity takes over as you slump onto the roof of the car. Yeah. You squeeze through the wreckage and fall to your knees on the ground next to your vehicle. Every breath brings pain to your chest. Your head is throbbing. A blue car is smashed into the passenger side of your car. Your life cannot be ruined by this. You're standing holding your whiskey and your dad's note and flashing lights are approaching at a distance. Oh, you scumbag! You absolute fucking scumbag! Plant whiskey. Bottle. With the lights approaching closer, you begin to hear the shrill of the sirens. You simply cannot go to jail for this. You clean the bottle to remove your connection with the whiskey. You then very deliberately spill the remainder of the bottle's contents onto the driver and toss the incriminating evidence onto his passenger seat. A circle of flashing lights surround you, illuminating the crash site in the darkness. Behind them, an army of people, all staring. One figure steps out, a silhouette, and walks towards you. The silhouette is a police officer and in uniform. He beckons you to approach. Sorry, you are not making any sense. Uh, talk to silhouette. You try to talk, but you are not making any sense. 
The reds and blue flashing lights are causing the pain in your head to be all more severe. Um. Shit. You try to stop, you're not making any sense. The lights are overwhelming, all other details are fading to the past. Look around. Red and blue flashing lights are causing pain. Yeah, okay, okay. Uh, um, um, um. Shit. Look at the lights. You see visions of your sister as you look into the pulsating lights. Look at the sister. Lights are overwhelming, all the deeds are uh, fuck. Like, uh, Lights are overwhelming. I'm getting lost. Stand up. Sorry, you're not making any sense. No night, Nox. Thanks for stopping by. You take care. And hey, next time you hear, shut the fuck up, you can't. You know it's me. <laughs> no, no. Um, shit. Are you gonna let me? No. Okay. Help. Sorry, you know me yourself. Uh, talk. Stand up. Whoa. Help me. Jen. Help Jen. Talk to officer. Drink. Look. Look at light. You see visions of your sister as you're looking to the pulse of lights. Okay, ah, uh, look at lights. Look at. I'm, I'm, I'm really lost today. This is going to be something simple and I'm missing it. Look at crash. Lights are overwhelming. Okay. Um. Yeah, I don't think that was the thing. Um. Jen. You try to stop, you're not making sense. Sleep. Die. Okay, I am actually confused now. Get up. Sorry, I misspelled that. Get up. Go out. Go to cinema. As you approach, I fucking missed it. Someone knew it was something simple. I'm stupid. As you approach the man, the pulsating lights around you get dimmer. I know you're tearing yourself apart over it, but no matter what you keep telling yourself, 
You have to listen to me. That accident. That poor man. Me. You have to remember. It was all your fault. Fuck! I know what you did. How you left me there to protect yourself. Oh my god. Planting evidence on some poor man. You went headfirst into that officer and you wrecked all of our lives. And you couldn't even take responsibility. You did the right thing for you and no one else. Save yourself. Only it was wrong, wasn't it? Yep. Look at you now. Yep. Utterly consumed by it. You're right. Say it, James. Say it. Tell them. Listen to yourself. I'm listening. It has to end, James. Love them you. You want me to Do say it was my fault? Understand. No, I don't. Not really. Oh! This I was looking the wrong direction. The episode you're having must come to an end. Yeah, my bad. I didn't see the door. Okay, my bad. Make it stop. Make it stop. Do you remember? Yeah, that was my bad. I hate inverted controls. Stop the session, Mr. Asian. Go back to where we started. Put an end to this nightmare. You can do this, James. You can let go. I think we've made progress today, Mr. Asian. I guess we should tell the police what you've told us. Although I don't suspect they'll take you anywhere. I think you'll be with us for quite some time. Come on, let's get you back to your shows. I'll see you tomorrow. Mission. Finish episode four. Bravo. Jesus, that was good. I enjoyed that. I enjoyed that a lot. My only itty bitty complaint is being locked at it, unable to change the the Y axis. That's it. But if that's the only complaint I've got. Bra fucking off. God, I enjoyed this. And it's 420. Hey, nice. <laughs> oh, dear. This was a really good game. I enjoyed this. I highly recommend it. It's been out for a long while. I'm sure. It's been in my to playlist for God longer than I can remember, actually. T 
Today I streamed Midnight Space. Uh, uh, midnight, midnight places. No, midnight scenes a safe place. There we go. God, it is late. Stories told. Get all of their achievements. What other achievements am I missing? Oh fuck. <sighs> well, I'll do that another day. Um. But I think, I think for now, I think I'm, I'm done for the stream tonight. I think. Um. Yeah. Oh, I need to change all my things because that's only for Twitch. I need to do YouTube stuffs. Yeah. That's fun. Okay. Well, until the next stream, which might be tomorrow. You never know. We'll see. I don't have a set schedule. <laughs> Me in a set schedule. Ah, that's funny. Take care of yourselves. Ah, uh, thanks for joining. <laughs>